Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you three easy ways to make your drone footage look epic. So if you use drone footage correctly, you can get some pretty sweet stuff like this. But to get sweet footage like that, you need a little bit of skill and technique. So the first thing you should do is have smooth motions. Basically what I mean by that is wherever you're flying, it should have some sort of goal or purpose. So you're not just flying randomly in the air to get a random shot. Once you know what you're trying to film, you should use a specific shot type. You can orbit around your subject to make it seem more important, or you can just fly the drone up and glide horizontally on the x-axis. Also another cool type of drone shot that I use is an upwards rotation where you're flying upwards and also slowly rotating the drone. It gives a super cool feel. But once you do this, it seems to have more purpose, therefore making it more epic. The second thing you should do is stabilizing in post. Now basically all drones have gimbals that stabilize the camera to make it steady. And if you don't, you should really get one. But gimbals aren't always perfect because if there's wind, they're going to wobble a little bit and affect the overall movement. So stabilizing in post is a great way to fix up those little errors. If you don't know how to stabilize in post, I just made a video about that, so go check it. And lastly, the third thing you can do is color grading. By adding a different color tone, it can dramatically enhance the feeling of the shot. For example, here's a shot color graded really light and happily. And now here's the same shot, kind of dull, dark, and scary. You can see how just a little bit of color difference can dramatically change the feeling of the shot. Also what you can do to your footage is add a letterbox over the top. This makes it more epic because now it has a cinematic crop factor. And also if you're using a GoPro on your drone, you can use a wide angle fix and post to kind of correct the curvature of the lens and remove that action camera feel. So anyway, if you wanna get some sweet drone shots, just use these three techniques. Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.